What's going on, everybody? What's going on? It's Josh Wilson, and this is the Big Dog Podcast here in the studio, per usual, with Jonathan Mack. Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. What's up? Man, a lot. A lot is up. Um, all good, though. The bad don't matter. Nobody cares anyway, so um, it's all good. New Sprinter van. We're just ro- <laughs> we Yep. Uh, picked up a van yesterday, another Sprinter, getting it decked out, it's getting wrapped. Um this week and then it will go up to wisconsin to support our team in wisconsin um this summer so i'm excited about it you know these things are are damn near impossible to get i mean they're they are super tough to get right now and um i probably got four four dealers around the country who kind of keep their eyes open regionally and they know if they get one to holler at me and doesn't need to be new someone trades in one like the one i picked up yesterday's a 2020 Got a call from a guy I had talked to about one months ago. So good looking out. I will tell you, I'm very excited to have it because we really, really need it. Um, and they're they're tremendously useful for our business. But I've never been less excited for a car deal before in my life. Like I we business buys lots of vehicles. I like cars, so I'll go through cars and stuff. And part of the thing I like about cars is is getting a good deal and and being excited about it and whatever. Uh this was not a good deal. There, there just isn't. You can't get them, and so obviously everybody knows that. So demand is crazy high on it. Everybody knows that. So when there's high demand and short supply, what happens? Price goes up. I spent like eight grand over the brand new MSRP for this van. That is not a deal. I don't say that pridefully. Pridefully, I say I got it, but like some, I could probably sell that today and make money on it. That's how dumb it is. We're sitting on so much cash in vans that we can make, but we need them. So it doesn't really matter, right? You don't, you know, everybody freaking out about the stock market and, and all this crap. That's crashing and, you know, Bitcoin and, and diving crypto down. and all this stuff. And I'm like, what are you about? Why were you planning on selling it today anyway? Like if you're planning on selling it today, you only lose if you sell it. That's it. You lose if you sell it. So if you're planning on selling it today or tomorrow, yeah, you're screwed. That sucks. But if that wasn't your plan, stop about it and whining about it. Like, it's but so I, dumb. But I feel like if you had a bunch of money in a glass case and you just had to watch somebody just take a little bit out and it just keeps progressively getting lower with the promise of like, don't worry, it'll it'll come back. But nobody's promising you that. That's the thing. Yeah. Nobody's promising you that. And you shouldn't have money at risk that you can't afford to lose. So here's the thing, whatever it went up to anyway, like, and now it's dropping like that gain wasn't yours either. So you can't, you can't have all that gain and not take the L we talk about that principle, right? Yeah. Like that's just the reality of it. Does it hurt? Sure. It hurts, but guess how, what makes it not hurt? Don't even log in and look at it. Like I don't log in and look at it. You know what I'm going to say, right? What? The only real gains uh, are professional sports betting. (laughs) Well, yeah, and I'll tell you this too. I do have some friends who, um, they're killing it. You know, they're killing it in the stock market right now, and they just they're freaking wizards. And I don't, I I should pay attention to what they're doing because they're making plays daily. But I got other stuff I'm doing, like that's their business. So you know, they make it work, and I'm excited for them. But no, I mean it. I don't know. That leads me into what I was going to talk about, though. Um, I really, really want to talk about this event coming up in June, uh, Apex's annual conference, the million dollar mastermind. And because I think it's really important. Um, and it, there's some tickets left. Uh, they are damn near sold out. It is going to be insane. The speaker list is out of control. Um, and there's just, there's so much, man, there's so much negativity right now. I don't, I don't watch the news. My social media feeds are not filled with anything crazy and like people like I don't see anything mass media I I really really don't um because I either stop following it people that you know are constantly complaining on social media and stuff I I block you know unfriend whatever uh so so my feeds are overwhelmingly positive informative people making moves people growing pictures of people's kids, family wins, they're celebrating things like that. So I don't see a lot of the garbage that comes in again. 
we talked about this before. You got to control what you're consuming, right? I wasn't always this way. This is something I've really focused on the last couple of years. Um, and I would encourage you to do the same. You know, if everybody at work is about stock market and their 401k and blah, 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 blah. Okay. They're complaining about their 401k taking a huge hit. They're 35 years old. Are they retiring tomorrow? No, they're probably going to be working for another 20, 30 years because that's what the vast majority of people do. They don't need to worry about what's going on with the market right now in their 401k. Freaking Buffett, you know, billions upon billions upon billions. How many, how many ups and downs in the market has this dude been through? He's rich because he didn't sell it. That's why he's rich. He didn't worry about it. It's going to, it's going to be what it do be. I think that's what Peyton says. It'll be what it do be. I don't understand why she says that, but it's what she says. Peyton. Over my head. Over your head. So I just go with them. I guess it'd be what it do be. <laughs> so, you know, if these are the conversations, right, and you're just trying to get something off the copier and stands about the 401k tanking and all this stuff, like bounce, go get your, get your papers, go, go do something else. Like you don't need all the trash and garbage, you know, coming in. And so, you know, it, you got to have a little bit of a mind shift. Right. And I really think this, this uh, conference, this opportunity um, here coming up in June, June 3rd through 5th in Dallas is big. And, you know, I believe very much um, in the concept of proximity is power. And what you're going to get June 3rd through June 5th out in Dallas is proximity. There are gonna, the, the room is going to be filled. Thousands of people are coming this year. It's insane. Like I said, it's almost sold out. Um, but not just seven, eight, nine, ten figure winners, earners, producers, you know, on stage speaking to you, um, sharing game with you on, on how they're winning now in today's market, today's economy, what they've been doing the last couple of years to, to, to succeed and thrive, but they're actually going to be in the seats with you. Like that's the people that is making up this room. It's like-minded people coming together to win, to grow, to develop. And there's, you know, salespeople that'll be there. There's business owners, there's C-suite people, um, you know, solo entrepreneurs. It, it's, everything you can think of there's you know stay at home spouses you know men and women um you know in the space people are just looking to level up from a mindset standpoint and surround themselves with people on that same mission so i'm excited i'm so excited i'm taking eight of my team with me my wife's going with me um you know katie's coming out her husband's coming with her we got katie from detroit coming shane her husband's coming with her We've got some of our head trainers coming out with us. You know, we're, I'm investing, bringing the team together because I want them to get some of this juice, right? I mean, it's, it, get some of the juice, get some, get some of the good stuff, get around a different group of people than who you may be around on a daily basis. Um, you know, we've got, we've got another individual joining us. It looks like from, from another location, a friend of mine owns, he wants to send them out so they can be in the environment and learn. And it, let me, let me just talk to you about these speakers a little bit, um, the speaker list. So you'll know a lot of these names. Some of these names you may not know. I would encourage you to Google them and, and learn, um, Dan Fleischman, youngest dude to take a company public. He's big social media networker, um, businessman. This guy is the plug for like everything. The dude just knows everybody, uh, Bobby Castro. He big time business guy, Ryan Stuman, who started apex. He's obviously hosting the event, but he'll be speaking. Um, Eric Thomas ET, he will be there as a speaker. Uh, dude's incredible. Rebecca Zung, Jesse Lee Ward, Antonio Swad, you know, Wingstop. I had Wingstop like two days ago. All right. So he founded Wingstop like back in the day, pizza Patron, all that. I was talking to somebody the Wait, other day. with Rick Ross. No, Rick Ross didn't found Wingstop. Rick Ross owns a ton of them. Their franchise makes sense. Antonio started it and actually sold the business a couple of years ago. But I actually had come in uh, to the office one day because a couple of months ago I got to meet Antonio and um, told my staff, I was like, yeah, I met the guy who started uh, Wingstop. And she's like, oh my gosh, you met Rick Ross? I was like, no, I, I, I didn't. 
Um, he owns a lot. He's like the biggest institutional owner probably within Wingstop. So he started Wingstop. I mean, he owns a lot of them. He did not start it. Uh, we got Sean Whalen, the founder, CEO, uh, Lions Not Sheep. Very, very big. Uh, Kurt Lennington, he's a uh, CEO, managing partner, massive roofing contracting company out of Dallas. They're going nationwide. Incredible. Uh, David Harris, uh, Ryan's wife, Amy Stuman, is going to be speaking. We got David Goggins coming in. He's going to be speaking. Um, renowned author, Navy SEAL. Uh, Can't Hurt Me is his book, and that guy's just a beast. Ed Milet, um, big-time speaker, founder of Arate Syndicate. He's another one of my mentors. He'll be speaking there. Got Tom Brady. He's going to be at the event, meet with people, speaking. I know you're a big Tom Brady fan, Jonathan Mack. I would rather crawl through glass <laughs> yeah. than speak to Tom Brady. But this isn't even the full the full deal. Now, these are just the speakers that are going to be at the event, like some of the speakers that are going to be at the event. So at the end of the first night, there's actually a concert. Rick Ross is going to be there. We got Twista. All right. They got Paul Wall, Mike Jones. They're all going to be there performing. Everybody making the trip from Houston. Everybody. <laughs> It's going to be nuts. Um, it's just going to be a really, really incredible time with so much information. Um, and there's going to be so much input and opportunities to learn about different areas of your life. It's not all business. It's not all mindset. It's not all lifestyle. It's not all positivity. It's not, it's, it's real people who have achieved great things have been through a ton of shit talking to you about their stories, their process and what they're doing and how they're winning. Um, it's incredible. I'm fired up about it. I'm so excited. Like I said, I'm taking a bunch of people with me, but here's the thing that I wanted to put out to you guys. And this is why I believe so much in proximity um, being power and then the importance of getting in the right rooms. We've talked about that on this show before. So I'm going to, I'm going to put uh my money where my mouth is when it comes to that. All right. So if anything that I'm talking about is exciting to you, I've got two extra tickets to the event. All right. I want you to reach out to me. You can either hit me up on Instagram, that dog trainer. You can email me JW at Josh Wilson dot dog saying, Hey, I want to go to, to Dallas MDM. I've got the two tickets. June 3rd, through the 5th is the event. You probably want to come in on the 2nd, probably leave night of the 5th. But here's the thing. Shoot me an email or hit me up on Instagram. Tell me why you want to go. Why do you want to go? How, how would something like this, being in a space like this, help you and benefit you? You can go to, um, you can Google the Million Dollar Mastermind 2022. It'll pull up the site. I'll actually give you the exact site right now, mdm2022.phonesites.com. We'll put it in the show notes. We'll plug it on um, social when we share this. So you can go and check it out and get more information on the speakers and stuff. But send me a message. Tell me why. Tell me why this would, would benefit you, why this would be a win. And not only will I give you one of my extra tickets, I'll pay your airfare and I'll book your hotel for you. All right. So I'll get you there. I'll get you into the event. I'll get your lodging. You're responsible for whatever you do while you're there and, and all that. I'm not going to force you to hang out with us or anything like that. You're on your own. I'm going to get you there, though, and get you a place to stay and into the, into the venue, into the event. But if this is something that, you know, interests you and you're excited about, that's what I'll do. That's how much I believe this weekend, June 3rd through 5th, can have a transformational impact on someone's life. You guys hear me talk about apex all the time and the stuff it's done for me over the last several years. This is going to give you a taste of what I talk about and what I get to experience several times a month. All right. And, and I do, it's a, it's a big deal and it's helped me. You know, the, the, the biggest wins I've had over the last couple of years, I directly can correlate back to the relationships that I've created from being in the right rooms. You've heard me talk about that. That's not bullshit. That is, that is real. Um, you know, the, the losses I've taken over the last couple of years, the, the, the 
the, the pain, the hurts, the failures, my ability to work through them in the manner of which we have, I directly correlate back to the relationships that have been created over the last couple of years um, with people that I've met through Apex in events like this and getting people where things I think are into the world and devastating. And I've got friends now who've already been through this type of stuff before, you know, and they're calloused and hardened by them and they're showing me the path to work through it so I can get to the next level of my, of my path. Um, so maybe you're stuck right now. Maybe your, your business starting out isn't where you thought it would be or want it to be. Maybe you, you know, lost a job and you're, 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 you're getting ready to start your own thing and you're, you're scared to death about it and stuff. If I'm talking to you right now, message me. I'm going to pick two people and I'm going to get you to Dallas. I'm going to get you in the room and you're going to have a great time. And it ain't cheap. The tickets aren't cheap. Airfare right now, shit. Everybody knows what gas prices are. You know how much it is to fill up your car. Think about how much it costs to fill up a plane right now. Okay. That's coming down to everybody. The people pay for that gas in the plane are the people sitting in the seat. So tickets aren't cheap right now. And hotels are, you know, people are traveling. And so hotel prices are up. I get it. It's expensive, but I'm going to do it for you. I'm going to pay for two of y'all to have this experience because I believe what you will get out of the weekend and the energy you will put back into the universe and to other people that you impact, that's a trickle down effect. It's going to help you and it's going to help a whole lot of people. So June 3rd through 5th, million dollar mastermind in Dallas. It's going to be insane. Like I said, we're going to plug the link so you can check it out. If you want to go, and you can't get there yourself, for real, all right? If you can get there yourself and you have the means to get there yourself, don't message me, you know, telling me why I should send you, all right? This is, this is for people who can't get there themselves just yet. There's certain circumstances in life. There's, there's a transitional period. You know, you're taking some big L's the last couple of months and you'd love to be there, but maybe financially it, it just isn't realistic. Hit me up. Let me know why it should be you, and let me let me go through stuff and see. Now, a bunch of y'all are probably going to message me, and that's great, and that's exciting. I can only pick two, though, okay? I got these two extra tickets. I'll set it up. It's not that I don't want to help more, but I got a limited, all right? So I can, I'm going to choose two. But if you've got the means to do it, don't take advantage of these two spots, but check it out and get to Dallas. And if you're going... Hit me up. Let me know. Holler at me. Maybe we can connect. We've got, I've got meetings while I'm in town and stuff like that, but maybe we can catch up. Maybe we just connect during one of the breakouts or something like that. So I'd love to know that you're there, connect with you, connect you with my team and, you know, just be like, oh man, this is cool. Thanks. And thank you personally face to face for listening to the show and, and giving us feedback. So that's the deal. Message me, shoot me an email. Let me know why you would love to take advantage of this. And I'm going to send two of y'all to Dallas for the Million Dollar Mastermind in June, the 3rd through the 5th. That's all I got, Jonathan. Take us out. Hit me up, guys.